Venipuncture is a very important skill to any clinician or healthcare professional. Our aim here is to provide an in-depth understanding of the relevant anatomy, equipment and technique involved during venipuncture. In the cubital fossa, there is a vein which connects these two veins. It's called the median cubital vein. The basilic vein proceeds proximal towards the heart on the medial aspect of the upper arm and dives deep towards the brachial artery midway between the cubital fossa and the axilla. The veins of the venous system have one-way valves which control the direction of the blood flow in order to prevent backflow of blood in a direction away from the heart. Vacutainer is one of the systems commonly used for venipuncture. Its design and components are standardized and this greatly reduces the risk of needle stick injury. The barrel is designed with a screw top which attaches to the chosen needle. It also has a hollow body which allows access for the vacutainer tube. To connect the needles to the barrel, twist the two parts in opposite directions and pull them apart. This will expose the screw thread and the rubber covered needle, which is then screwed onto the top of the barrel. The rubber covered needle will pierce the cap of the vacutainer tube when it is pushed into the barrel. Position yourself over the patient so that the identified vein is clearly seen. Use the three finger technique to get a stable grip on the vacutainer assembly. This is done by placing the index and middle finger on one side of the body of the barrel and the thumb on the other side. The index and middle finger will act as a stable yet movable platform between the patient's arm and the barrel, while the thumb will stabilize the system at the top of the barrel body. 